A lot of stuff going on in the world. A lot of stuff going on in the world. First thing we want to jump into, man, one of our favorite actresses. Um, did I say that right? Actresses? That's close, ain't it? Close it to it yeah. works. You did it. You did your best. There you go. We were talking, <laughs> it was uh, A.J. Johnson. I know y'all remember A.J. Johnson. A.J. Johnson, first time you saw was on a house party. Was on, she was serene on house party. Uh, had on that bodysuit. I love AJ Johnson back then. Yeah, you smiling on that one. You like that one, yeah. <laughs> You know I did, boy. Good memories, good memories, man. But uh, what else? You know, and I think the—I mean, she been on a bunch of other things, but I know another big thing was our baby boy when she was the mama on Baby Boy, and that was you know that was a real iconic role, you know, real hood. What a what definitely a hood classic, man, classic. Fast forward, fast forward. Um, AJ was on this uh, podcast uh, Angela Yee has called Lip Service. And on Lip Service, she was talking about, I think it was her 50th birthday. She had a wild sexual experience. Uh, you know, she said she had two men at one time, man. She was, she was talking about getting the train ran on her, man. Pretty much. She got a train ran on. Well, I see you looked at me funny when I said train. Why you looked at me funny when I said train, Sheree? Um, why is it a train? Couldn't the train be at least three or four people? No. Nah. Yeah, it, it was three people. It was three people. That's a threesome. That is not a threesome. That is not a threesome. It, okay, it, it, go ahead. What it, happened it, then? All right, I, I will break <laughs> this down for you, man. A, a threesome is <laughs> loving and touching and everybody caressing together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's two women and a man. Oh, okay. No, it's two okay. women and a man. That is a threesome, okay? that That's a threesome. A train? It's two dudes and, and a chick. Two okay, we're going to disagree on that. Go ahead yeah. with the story. Not touching what disagree happened? each other. You know, but she got that for her 50th birthday now. That was her 50th. I think now, you know, you know, niggas don't read, so I don't know if I read the whole story correctly. But I think that was the, uh, I think that was the thing, man. Is that a great birthday present? Is that what you want for your 50th birthday, Sheree, you woman? <laughs> Listen, I think that at 50, she has earned whatever she wants at 50. And if at 50 she says, I haven't had this experience and I'd like to have it, why not? The way people leaving this earth, just go get it. You know, if that's what you want, you want to have a threesome that includes two men, then that's go not, for it. That's not a threesome, correct? Correction. It's not. She just, made, she just tried in, in her little explanation of what happened. She tried to make it sound all classy when you really know what went down. Yes. One was in, one was in the front. One was in the back. Pretty much. You know, you know what went down. It wasn't classy. It wasn't respectful. It was. It was a train. It, it, it was a train. It, it could have been respectful. They could have been some nice guys, but I doubt it. I was called a gangbang. When, you get, bang. when <laughs> you get that, when you get that chance, and it ain't your lady, you you doing everything you ever thought of, and it ain't gonna be nice and gentle. <laughs> Every, everything you seen on the on the videos, right? <laughs> on the point of it, you know. Well, she did. But she could also be dating both of those men. Like she can be in a non-exclusive situation and freely dating and then decided, I enjoy the two of you and I want to enjoy the two of you together for my birthday. So it doesn't have to be, I mean, if she's not hurting anyone and they're consenting and everyone's of age and it's consensual, what's wrong with it? I mean, my thing is, I don't think anything is wrong with it if that's what she wanted to do. It's just the terminology. She just used the wrong terminology. It's not a threesome. It is a train. It's just a bang bus. They call it a bang bus. So, hey. A bang bus? A bang bus. You try to make it seem like they just took turns, like, all right, it's your turn. All right, it's your turn. All right, it's your turn. But but it's an orgy. Then doesn't that become an orgy? Like then yeah, that, that becomes like a gangbang. So. so the gangbang, isn't that like four more? Exactly. No, uh, I'd say it, it don't take but two. Or a gangbang? Two people is a gang. 
That's the game. The guys, the guys got to start somewhere. You know? <laughs> they, don't, they don't come out with a 50, 50 crew members all at once. You got to start with two. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start the game some way, man. It's okay. I think that uh, I think I think women and men see again with the terminology because to me a threesome is a threesome. It's three people. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't like it because you're saying a threesome should only be. It's very narrow minded. I'm super yeah. surprised yeah. that you all are like, like it. That rigid. <laughs> Ain't nobody, ain't, in terms see, of, you you putting words in our mouth. Ain't nobody say we didn't like it. We just said right. the terminology was wrong. That's all. But why can't the terminology apply? Okay, it would be a threesome if the dudes was gay. If the dudes was gay and touching each other, then it'll be a threesome. Three dudes. If it's three dudes. No, if it was two dudes and a woman and they was touching each other. And they was all doing it to each other. It was all doing it to each other. Then it'll be a threesome. Then it'll be a threesome. But the two, two dudes wasn't touching. It was a train. It, it was a train. You don't understand? I mean, it seemed. It's, you got a, you got degrees and advanced degrees, Sharita. It seemed like it should be easy for you to understand. Uh, I think that uh, it is still a threesome, uh, in my opinion. So I'm outnumbered here. Y'all so technic- have your technically, own technically it's, a it's three people. Okay, we got you. I get you. you technically. You, you've been wrong before. You've been wrong before. So, you know, <laughs> you'll be all right. <laughs> but, but once again, once again, at 50 years old, if she wants to explore her sexuality, I, I see nothing wrong with that. I see nothing wrong if she did it at 20 years old, 30, at 40. I don't see if that's what if that's her get down. If that's what she like, that's what she wanna do. Shit. Have fun. Have she's fun. Yeah. And she's 59 now. So this nine years later, this all come out. Yeah. Hey. Oh, 59. 50, she's 59 now? Well, she looks really? great for 59. She looks great. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. She does. No, no, no. You good. You good. Um, At 50, though, dog. Come on, man. Nah. At 50, come on. Are you going to start at 50, LeBron? No, but I, I I mean, it's no, I'm definitely not. <laughs> but you see? So you can't be bad at her? You can't just come out. I'm talking about just finally exploring that side at 50. You believe that? I don't no. believe I, I don't believe that's the first time to be honest with you. No, no I don't. That's that's my point. At 50, you just decide all of a sudden, I think I want to be gang banged by two men. Because it ain't now, like she... to, 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 to Cheddar's point, whether they're dating or not, you just all of a sudden at 50. Oh, I think that'll be a great 50th birthday. No, you've been doing that before, and now you just think it's cool because you're 50 and you're 60, and you just wanted to come out and put it on the table. But no, you've been doing that. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, women can be viewed as um, promiscuous and fast and all that. And so sometimes it takes you, depending on how you're raised um, and then whatever influences are around you at the time, like she's a, you know, actress. So she was really focused on that and just trying to get roles and things of that nature. It it might have taken her a while to get to the place of, okay, you know what? I'm finally at a point where I'm comfortable with me. I don't care what anyone else is going to think. I see your face. I don't care what anybody else is going to think. And I want to do this. I haven't been able to do this because women are held to different standards. Man, like, the way the way she let Melvin carry her around like that, man, she bad doing this. She ain't new to this. She true to this. Stop that. Stop trying to keep it all feminine, man. She been doing this. She been. 